Hello everyone. Thank you for returning to the thought for the day. And today I'm thinking of the question, what if I feel spiritually weak? When we're faced with trials of every kind, many of us quake and say, I cannot cope with all of this. James, in verses 5 to 8, deals clearly with what we should, should do. He says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. If any of you lacks wisdom, James isn't talking about intellectual knowledge here. He's referring to the ability to make wise decisions in difficult circumstances, decisions that will be in line with what God is working on in the maturing of our faith. He therefore points us to the only way we can go Christians don't have to grope around hoping to stumble upon the answers. James encourages all readers of his letter with these words. Let him ask God. This is a wonderful, wonderful invitation. The way is clear. The door is open. We are free to ask our Heavenly Father, who is described by James as the giving God, who gives generously to all who come, without finding fault, without reproach. He doesn't say to us, oh, not you again. Haven't you learned yet? What have you done with the last lot of wisdom I gave you? There is no hint either of, you don't deserve it, or have you been good? And the amazing thing, God is not expecting anything in return. And James reassures us that God will give us what we need to walk through the situation of testing that we're in. There is one requirement that we pray in faith, believing not only in the evidence of God that we've experienced, but also believing in his loving care. And it includes relying on God and expecting that he will hear and answer when we pray and he will align our desires with his purposes. But James does warn us about the person who wavers in his attitude to God. And he's talking here about someone who really is not convinced that God's way is the best and who treats God's word just as he treats human advice. And so by doing that, he retains the option to go his or her own way, vacillating between his own subjective feelings, the world's ideas and God's command. And we are told that he's unstable or she is unstable in all their ways. But God welcomes us when we come to him to ask for wisdom as we face trials in life. He 
will provide the strength that we need to get through the testing. And he, through his Holy Spirit, will walk with us through each trial that we face. When we feel weak, let's ask God. Let's ask the giving God who willingly gives to all who come to him in faith. Let's pray. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear, all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, forgive us when we fail to come to you for wisdom when we need it in life's trials. Help us always to remember that the door into your presence is always open and all we need to do is to come in and to ask in faith. Lead us forward into this day and into the rest of our lives. Mature us through your testing, I pray. In Jesus' name, Amen.